Welcome back to the D3Hoops.com Classic Interviews. I'm Dave McHugh, now joined by Coach Megan Howie of uh, Stevens. And first and foremost, you got to be happy. You came out of here at least with a win. Tough start to the season. You got that. Tough loss, though, to Lewis and Clark to finish. So one and six isn't great, but at least you're off the snide, as they say. Yep, definitely. You know, we went out signed to play the best competition we could in our what we call our season one. Uh, to make us a better team, make us ready for conference play. I think we took our lumps a little bit, um, did a lot of soul searching, tried to figure out who we were as a team, who we wanted to be, and I think we got better along the stretch. Uh, today would have been nice. They're a good team, obviously. I thought our kids played with a lot of heart down the stretch. We had about a 10-minute lull there and really kind of questioned things, and uh, they answered. So I have to compliment our kids. Um, they keep their heads high. They really see the big picture. Um, and it's been a long first season, but I think a really good one in terms of us growing. Would have liked to have a few more wins there, but it is what it is at this point. So, Coach does have a, a worn out voice. We'll try not to keep her too long. We appreciate her talking about things, though. Obviously, you're now six losses. You guys are going to probably have an amazing SOS when things come down to it. But you played yourself pretty much into having to go win the conference. That's kind of the give and take when you put a schedule like that together. Of course, you have a tough conference. Ithaca looks like they're back into the mix a little bit after a year or two kind of step back. So it's going to be a little bit of a tough fight. What's the mentality? What do you take out of this weekend and the beginning of the season that you can use moving forward into the Empire 8 Conference? Absolutely. Every, you know, now that we approach conference play, our mindset is one team at a time. We can get beat by anybody every any night. But to really build on who we've become, playing defense, intensity, sharing the ball, our offense a lot of times is our biggest problem, you know. Um, and I think if we continue to build on those things, we should have a good conference play. That's our goal. But it's one game at a time. We understand there's a lot of good teams in our conference that could beat any night. So I think it's a good team. We've seen them play a few times already. They're having a good year, which makes it fun. So. You're on the national committee. You're going to have a fascinating point of view for a committee member. You've seen some of the teams that are going to be in the conversation. You even got a chance to see some of them here who you didn't get a chance to play against. How helpful is that for you? I know there's no eye test, but how helpful is it to know the teams you're talking about on the on the larger scale? I think it's important. I think I, one of the reasons we wanted to come out here, be matched up with West Coast teams, is to see the style of play, see the differences, you know, and uh, I think it's been great for us. I think we see a different speed you know a different uh, a different game in many ways so I think it'll be a big advantage for us so you mentioned a little bit about keeping the team's head up how do you do that though I mean you've had six really tough losses one really gritty win here at the classic but how do you keep their heads up and not let it get them down right you know at the end of last year when we were at Amherst I think yeah. our returners really agreed that we need to be better prepared for a team like that. And the only way you can do that is to welcome all competition. Yeah. So they really were a part of that decision making and saying, let's play the best. We have nothing to lose. If anything, we're going to get better. And so I think our heads are up because they really see the big picture. They know we need to win our conference, but they know that this has made it better. Every game's been fun. Every game's been exciting. Uh, we've had to come ready to play every game. So I think they see the big picture. They know we're a good team. We just have to get fired on a little bit more full cylinders for 40 minutes and we'll be there. So. It's a big picture mentality. You, know? you got a bunch of great players on the team. We don't want to belabor uh, wherever you wear out your voice. We'll get her on Hoopsville at a later time when we can really talk about your team before we let you go. Obviously, this is business. There's some pleasure when you come to the Vegas Classic. You want to take advantage of the opportunity. What do you guys, what have you done or what do you have for plans before you get out of town? Yeah, we went to dinner last night at Margaritaville. Cool. Spent some time going up and down the strip as a team. We've done a lot of team things. Tonight we'll go to dinner at the Hard Rock and cool. spend some time as a team as well. So we've been traveling together with our parents who've been great. Yeah. Came out to support us, joined us at dinner. So it's been a really good team time, which we really needed at this point in our season so well good luck rest up the voice take Thank care so by the way uh the outfits you guys brought were outstanding the the the, the uh caribbean look which was like amherst when they came here but then i didn't see you wear the sweater you brought you had a heck of a sweater on the bench a christmas holiday what was the mentality <laughs> yeah it was too hot it's true but what was the mentality was that just to keep it light yeah to keep it fun for the kids you know yeah. we wanted to at the end of the day it's a game we want them to have a good time and there are a bunch of great kids i can't speak enough positive things about my group and uh I think they had fun with it, so made it fun for them. So. Well, good luck the rest of the season. Good luck in the conference. I know we and I will talk at some point down the road. And uh, thanks for coming out here and enjoying it. Thanks and we'll look forward to seeing you. Megan Howie again from uh, Stevens, who finished the tournament here at the D3 Hoops Classic 1-1, one one, off to conference play and other games as they move on. We'll have more from the D3 Hoops Classic later.